All right, guys, what's going on? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to place your pixels into ClickFunnels, okay? Um, it's a pretty simple process. It's actually one of the reasons why I like ClickFunnels because they make it simple. It's very easy to do. There's not a lot of things you have to click. It's like a place and you've won and done and you're good. Um, there are some pretty cool options that you can do. So first of all, um, you guys are here on the business manager. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your top left. You're going to click on your ads manager. You're going to go to all tools and you're going to click under assets, click pixels. Okay. It's going to bring it underneath your pixels. If you haven't set up your pixels already, watch the video on how to set up your pixel as in like how to, you know, activate it. Um, well, so what you're going to do is when you get to this page, you're going to go to the part where it says set up pixel. All right. You're going to click on it. You're going to click on copy and paste the code, right? And then right here, you're going to notice this whole code. It's going to say copy code to clipboard. And this is the entire pixel, guys. Each ad account that you have has a separate pixel. So you guys see, for instance, see the blue numbers that are uh, highlighted underneath? See these like, numbers right here, right? 279, uh, 275975171, you know what I'm talking about? Those numbers. That is your specific ad account pixel code. And each one of you has a different number. So be sure... That it, let's just say you guys are running multiple accounts. Make sure the numbers match up and the, and the pixels. Uh, make sure the the pixel numbers match up in ClickFunnels because if you have more than one account and you accidentally put the wrong pixel code in the ClickFunnels, you're not going to be optimizing anything. So just you know keep on the lookout. Be sure you guys are you know putting the right code in the right uh, funnel. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy this code. Right, you're going to click on it. You're going to copy it. Next, you're going to log into your ClickFunnels. Okay, log into your ClickFunnels account and then click on the funnel that you want to do. So simply, let's for instance, let's see this one. Copy to, uh, this is a, one of the examples, this is one of the free ones that they give you. It's obviously not what I'm using, but for the time being, we're going to use it. <laughs> so what I want to do is, before what I actually used to think was that you had to go into each individual page and then put the pixel code in each individual page and that was, that was it. Well, here's the thing, you don't got to do that. All you got to do is put it in one spot and by default, all of them are going to have the same pixel code. Ready? So what you do is this, you go to the settings at the top right right here. And as you look down, you're going to see the thing head tracking code. This is where you're going to take that pixel that you just copied from your business manager and you're going to paste it. All right. Now, after you paste it, let me just go all the way down here. Well, let me explain first. After you paste this and you save this thing, this entire pixel is going to be on all of these funnels, right? All of these pages, they're all going to be on this page. So it's a cool way for you not to have to go into each one and, you know, put a, the same pixel in the same thing. I used to do that. Didn't have to do it. Pretty cool way. I think this is easier. So you're going to literally just leave it right in here. It's going to be on every single page. You're going to scroll down and you're going to click save and update settings. Okay. Now, for those of you that want to track specific types of, you know, pixel codes or, you know, pixel settings, there is a way to do that. So what you're going to do, and I'm going to show you right now, you're going to go back to your business manager. Okay. And you're going to go down to the number two section where it says install event code. When you click on install event code, you're going to click on basic right here. You see basic recommend it in advance. You don't really need recommend it. Um, because they, it asks you for more information on infer, like stuff you don't need. It gives you values that you have to input. You don't need to do any of that um, based on this. Unless you're doing like Shopify or something or you actually are running your own course. Um, then you can obviously put your own values in there. But for you guys, I don't think any of you as of right now are running your own course. So for the time being, we're going to do basic. All right. And then you're going to see all these options, right? You're going to see there's a, there's a search pixel. There's a view content pixel and add to cart add to wish list, add to checkout. Like let's just say you guys create your own course and you created a checkout page where the, all they had to do is enter their information and that was it. And then they got to that page. I could literally click on this right here and then copy this code. You see how it says script and then that uh, initiate code says script here, the end script and then in between the FBG and then the parentheses track initiate checkout. That is the code. Okay. Now, each one, if I were to put this on the checkout page, this is letting me know that when that, that, when that specific pixel fires off in this manager right here, that, it, that it's telling me that people got to that page, okay? So if you want to be able to track specific types of people that get to specific types of pages, this is how you do it. So let's just say I wanted to count somebody as like, 
let's say for example, a lead. Okay. Now, if you guys remember from the training, a lead is someone that opts into your stuff. They put in their information in exchange for something of value to them. So they gave you their name and their email address. So this, for example, we're going to do lead. We copy it, right? All you're going to do is going to go back to ClickFunnels and this is the thing that you do. You don't have to go into the settings and place it in there. You're going to go to the specific page that you want it to be on so that when the people get to that page, you know, based off that pixel firing off that they got to it. So let's just say, so this is the confirmation page. This is, so this says registration page. They register, they put their name and their email in, right? After they put their name and their email in, they're going to get a uh, place to the thank you page. This says confirmation page, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to call it a thank you page, right? It's going to say, Hey, thanks for your purchase or blah, 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 blah. Thanks for getting involved, blah, blah, blah. So look here, this is actually perfect. We're going to click on edit page. It's going to load up. It's going to say, Hey, this says, thanks for registering. Yours could be like, Hey, thanks for opting in. Thanks for click signing up. Thanks for whatever. Okay. And this is a, this is actually a pretty cool uh, webinar setup. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the top, click settings, go to tracking code, and you're simply going to paste that little tiny code right there. And that's it. That's all you got to do. So now remember, all the pages have the main pixel code on them, but this page is going to track not only the main pixel code, but it's going to track this lead pixel code now so that you can see exactly who's getting to what page. And you can use it in any way you want. There's no limit to it. This is definitely optional, but I feel like in my, like the way that I do it, I like to see who's getting to certain pages. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys do too. You don't want to just see one pixel firing off. Like you want to be able to see who's getting to specific pages. So this is how you do it. Take that a special event code that you want, place it in the settings, uh, and the tracking code section. Once you place it in the tracking code section, exit out, and then you're going to save. Once it saves, you're good. You back out, you exit, and it's going to be on that page. So now every time someone opts into your first page for whatever you're offering and they get to the thank you page, bam, that's a lead. That's, that's that lead pixel is going to fire off. So it's a very simple way. Um, it's a very easy way to do it. And this is the reason why I like ClickFunnels, guys. So um, pretty sure that I hope that guys made, I hope that made sense to you guys. This is a really easy process. I mean, I really don't know, know what else to say. Um, but, yeah. Hope you guys have a good one.